Hey Capricorn, thank you for tuning in to my channel for the love of water to row. I'm going to bring you a love reading for October 2019. This is going to be current energies, okay? Um, this is energy Capricorn, so this could be you or your person. It will not resonate for every Capricorn, okay? Um, I do offer private readings. If you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is in the description box below. All right. How are my beautiful earth signs doing? Let's take a look. Spirit, please bring me clear messages for the sign of Capricorn. Okay. We got a king of swords. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I got the hangman. That's the card of Pisces. Okay, someone could be making a decision and getting themselves making some decisions to get themselves unstuck. The two of wands, there's something about a decision needs to be made, a pathway to something. All right, I have the seven of wands and the eight of pentacles. I'm gonna stop right there. Let's see what we got here, caps. The overall energy of this read is going to be judgment. There's a second chance here. Someone wanting a second chance or a second chance at something. All right. Let's go over. Let's see who all the players we got here, Caps. Okay. I have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is someone that could be in a position of an authority, an authority figure. This is someone seeking truth and clarity. This is also being someone that's willing to cut some shit out that's no longer serving them, okay? Being clear about what it is they want or getting clear, okay? <clears throat> which is weird because next we have the hangman, which is Pisces, which is someone feeling stuck. But they are stuck because they're getting enlightenment, okay? Someone is stuck, but they're getting enlightened. They're in the king of swords mode, okay? Then we have the two of wands, okay? This is passion. This is about a passion, new beginning. This is about a decision that needs to be made and a pathway to some, leading to something else, okay? But then I have Aries Leo Sag energy. I have someone being defensive, okay? So this is Aries Leo Sag energy. Here's an Aries, possibly an Aries Leo Sag. This could be you or your person, but this is someone in defense. This is someone defending themselves. I feel like they're fighting for the death because if I put it together, this is a nine. This is a wounded warrior. So this is someone defending themselves. Okay, maybe need to make a decision. There's a pathway here, okay? there's Someone could be a bit wounded, battered and beaten, but not broken, okay? And getting ready to persevere through something. Then I have your energy, Capricorn, Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You definitely could be dealing with another earth sign, but this is something about work or something about hard work, okay? This could be a second chance. You could be defending yourself at work, trying to get the second chance, dealing with an authority figure that has you feeling stuck. Don't know yet, okay, Capricorn? But let's see what we got. All right, give me one second, y'all. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. Again, Capricorns, if the message resonates and you're interested in booking a private reading, my information is in the description box below. What is the King of Swords for my beautiful Capricorns? What is this King of Swords? This, again, this could be an authority figure, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but this is someone who's making some decisions. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and take them. We got Justice. You could be dealing with the Libra. This is something about making a decision someone someone wanting to do the right thing do what's fair and balance making a decision to cut something out to be fair oh here's the seven of swords there could have been something sneaky here is someone deciding to cut off something sneaky oh my god okay look the three of swords gosh and the page of cups okay capricorn and at the bottom of my deck the king of wands all right caps okay so this is what i'm getting and this is deep okay there's something about an equal give and take here okay someone someone may be being very cold right now okay it could be an authority figure someone is trying to do what's fair and right justice someone is trying to e balance something out do what's fair and right there was a heartbreak and betrayal and there was a deception there's also a 10 here there's some sort of release and letting go someone is seeking truth and clarity someone is wanting to do what's right and then i have a love offer so i have strong air hair cap she could be dealing definitely dealing with the air sign or someone is all in their head okay i have libra strong libra here okay but i have i have a deception I have a deception 
something that was sneaky, something that was unclear, something that was deceptive. I have a heartbreak, a betrayal. This could have been about a third party situation. Here's a three. This is a 10. This is something about a surrender, a cycle coming to an end. Someone is clear and they're getting there. They're ending some sort of cycle. They're doing what's fair and right. Here's an apology. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I have a king of wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag. Someone is ready to step forward and do what's right. But there's been a heartbreak and a betrayal. There's been something deceptive. What's the hangman here, Capricorn? What is the hangman? What is the hangman? This is Pisces energy, but this is someone still in, someone stuck but getting enlightened. Two of cups. A, here's more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is a deep-ass connection. That there was some sort of betrayal, heartbreak, backstab. Someone was backstabbed. Someone is definitely trying to get clear about balancing something out and apologizing. The fool, his Aries energy. Someone wants to take a leap into a new beginning. What is the two of wands? What is the two of wands here for my beautiful Capricorns? The high priestess, more Pisces energy. A pathway to a Pisces, a pathway to a new beginning, using your intuition about a new beginning. The high priestess is wise. She knows secrets. She doesn't speak. The high refined, here's a commitment, eight of swords. So that's a 10. <laughs> Someone is feeling trapped. Someone is feeling trapped and wanting a new beginning. Someone is using their intuition about this. Someone may be trapped into a new commitment. And they, and they want a pathway to a new beginning. Okay. Someone may be feeling trapped by someone that isn't a commitment and they're waiting for a pathway for something new to begin. There's a completion here. There's another 10 here, though, Caps. There's something completing about a cycle. And then I have a Taurus here. This is also about a commitment. This is also about traditions. Maybe someone's stuck in some, in some sort of traditional relationship. They're using their intuition for a pathway to something else. <clears throat> What is this seven of wands? This is someone being defensive, okay? I feel like this is someone defending, fighting for their life. Ace of swords, the truth and realization, more Libra energy. Someone is defending the truth. Someone is, de someone is defensive about being truthful. The nine of cups, Pisces energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, wish fulfillment. Someone is defending themselves against the truth about wish fulfillment. Someone is in defense of their wish fulfillment, wanting to tell the truth. We got a magician. This is anybody. This is someone who's manifesting wish fulfillment. They're in defense of, they're, they're in defense. There's something about the truth here. I have Aries Leo. I have Aries Leo Sag, Aquarius Libra Gemini, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and any damn body here. So someone is manifesting the truth, some wish fulfillment. Someone is in defense though. Someone is wanting wish fulfillment, wanting the truth. Defending themselves. Ooh. Okay, what's the Eight of Pentacles, Caps? Here's your energy. Here's something about hard work, studying, dedication. Nine of Pentacles. It goes from the eight to the nine. Something about abundance, solitary abundance. There could be someone solid, stable, and abundant here. Someone could be working their way towards someone solid, stable, and abundant. Someone could be working their way to their own solid, uh, solid abundance on their own. Here's the Knight of Cups. Here's a love offer rushing in, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Someone wants to rush in, okay? Maybe to someone solid. Maybe someone is working their way back to someone solid. Hmm. Let's go back over here to this King of Swords, Cap. What is this King of Swords and this apology? There, there is justice here. There was some deception, some heartbreak. Ooh, we the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords together. This is like someone was definitely backstabbed and betrayed and hurt. There's justice here. There's an apology here, but someone is getting clear that they need to do it. Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Someone was heartbroken. Someone was disappointed. I said it. Someone probably was depressed. Someone may be depressed about this. The Nine of Swords, worries, fears, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heartbreak, worries, fears, sleepless nights, death, an ending, a transformation, Scorpio. Someone is getting clear. They're stressed out about being backstabbed, heartbroken, and betrayed. They're wanting justice. There's an apology here. There's endings and transformation. There's a lot of fucking stress here, though, Caps. What's at the bottom of my deck? Five of Pentacles, your energy. Feeling left out in the cold. Feeling a feeling of lack. Someone is getting out of that feeling of lack, though. <laughs> they're getting clear. And they may be stressed out about it, but, but they're getting clear. Give me one of the hangman and the two of cups. Now, this is someone getting enlightened, feeling stuck, but there's a soulmate connection here. This is a lot of wild. This is wild energy. So someone is definitely loved up, but feeling stuck about something. The star, wish fulfillment. 
healing, Aquarius energy. Wanting, feeling stuck, needing to get enlightened, wanting to get enlightened, wanting to heal a soulmate situation. Seven of Pentacles, waiting to reap some sort of harvest. Someone may have invested in something. <laughs> well, they may have made an investment in something that they felt deceived in. They want to heal themselves. They want to heal a soulmate connection. Wow, Capricorn. What's the high priestess? The Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands. The Fool. Aries energy. A leap. Someone may be feeling <laughs> trapped by a high priestess or tra trapped by a Pisces, trapped by an Aries, wanting a new beginning, needing to make a decision, ace of swords, some truth, the truth again, some truth needing to be spoken. Someone is feeling trapped and needing to tell the truth. Someone is being quiet. There's someone using their intuition. Give me more on this defense, this wish fulfillment, and this truth for Capricorn. Wow, what is this? What is this? The Eight of Pentacles. Here's the hard work again. This is your energy. Some of you may be having a hard time at work. You may be trying to defend yourself at work. Here's that Seven of Wands again. Here's that defense again. Are some of you having to defend yourself against someone at work? Okay, feeling stuck by that? Dealing with an authority figure? Some of you are an authority figure, okay? Who's trying to get clear about being deceived or someone that deceived you. There's someone feeling stuck. Wow. Okay, so then we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is about work again. Hard work, but there's about abundance. Solitary abundance coming. There's something about someone being silent and abundant and single. There may be a love offer coming towards someone solid, stable, and abundant and single. But there's work. The chariot. There's movement. Cancer energy. Rapid movement. Fast movement. There's some quick... There's some... Rapid movement to abundance coming for you, Capricorn. The Knight of Pentacles, it may be come. Look, what an oxymoron. Here's it coming slowly. Here's, here's you moving fast, quickly, okay? This is your energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be wanting to offer something to this be, this single, solid, stable person. You're working on it. You're wanting to move forward. Someone could be wanting to do this for you, Cap. Okay, let's see what else I can get. This is kind of confusing. Give me one more for this King of Swords for Capricorn. Give me more for this King of Swords. The Page of Swords. Someone is spying. Not necessarily spying, but this is someone that's seeking truth and clarity. This could be spying. This could be watching your social media, communicating on social media, driving past your house, driving past your, your, your job. There's two pages here. There's someone being a bit immature, but they're seeking truth and clarity. There's an apology and there's someone spying. Ten of Pentacles. There's a commitment on the table. This is your energy. There may be a family involved. This could be a family situation, Capricorn. Are you, are you, are you battling with a family member? What's the hangman here? And the two of cups. So this is a deep connection that something needs to heal. Here's my wounded warrior again, the nine of wands. The six of wands, though. This There's a victory. There's acknowledgement coming. Someone is battered and beaten, but they're about to heal something. They're getting enlightened. There's a deep-ass soulmate connection. There's acknowledgement victory okay aries leo sag energy give me more for this two of wands for my beautiful capricorns this high priestess this fool this eight of swords shit for my caps what is this about for my caps make it plain the ten of pentacles someone could be trapped in a, in, in a family ace of cups so there's new love there's commitment here there's a pathway to new love and commitment someone is feeling trapped there's a high priestess there's a Pisces, an Aries. I got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. I got new love, though. Here's that six of wands. There's a victory coming. There's a commitment coming. New love. There's a leap about to be taken. There's a, there's a pathway to it. Someone probably needs to make a decision. See, because I have someone being defensive. Okay, but the truth. The truth. The wish fulfillment. What is this for my caps? Four swords. Someone taking a break and strategizing. They're defending themselves like hell. They're taking a break. They're strategizing. That's five swords. There could be competition, petty fights. Three of wands. Someone is waiting on their ships to come in, though. Give me more for this chariot and this abundance that's coming from my beautiful Capricorn. I feel like if some of you guys have been working hard at something and there's some abundance coming quickly. The two of cups. Something that you're going to love. The eight of cups. So the, this is here's a ten. Here's another ten. This is a deep-ass soulmate connection. Some of you may be walking away from a deep-ass soulmate connection. Someone you had a deep-ass connection could have walked away from you. But there's a chariot. There's movement coming. There's abundance and movement coming. <laughs> okay? The three of wands. Someone is waiting on their ships to come in. 
There's two eights here. There could have been some sort of cycle with you and someone. Someone there could be someone working and walking away, coming back, but there's abundance coming. There's movement coming in the soulmate connection. You got the two of cups here twice. So there's a deep ass soulmate connection with someone here. Someone is getting enlightened. There is someone that is about to cut out the heartbreak, the betrayal. There was backstab and there was some talk, some bad shit here. Someone was heartbroken and deceived. But there's justice here. Someone is getting clear. If you're dealing with an authority figure, you got some justice coming your way. Someone is definitely stressed out, but there's healing. There is healing, and there's abundance coming. All right? All right, Caps, this is what I have for you guys. If this resonates, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in the personal, my email is in the description box below. I hope I brought you messages of love, light, peace, clarity. I'll see you guys really soon and bring you messages very soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.